Isso, obrigado, moça. Tá, avancemos então, sem mais delongas, Ivano Saloni, success with your social media engagement. Vamos lá, Ivano, bem-vindo. Por favor, please welcome. You know the rules? 25, 30? Yes. Okay. So, hello, everybody. We have heard already a little bit about social CRM, so let's talk about what it is exactly. And I'm not going to talk about the solution that Bethium has in place, but uh, about a very important aspect. Once you're using that technology, once you're starting your social media engagement, what do you have to do to ensure success? So basically, it's really cool if you can do business uh, by using the community for word of mouth, helping each other, finding solutions, finding buying decisions. If that is taking place, that's great for our business. There's even a kind of a formal definition of social service by Paul Greenberg, which you can read behind me right now. But talking about to ensure social success, Success. Uh, I want first to go through the agenda what I'm covering the next 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So one of the questions that always comes up, where shall we start as a company to start a social media engagement? Second one, now from our best practice, what works and what, and what does not work? There are some clear facts there which I'm going to share with you. There are some key elements to ensure uh, your, the success in your social media. And then, some examples of what our customers have achieved by engaging and engaging in the right way. First thing is, there's something already happening out there. Uh, your customers are already talking about you, if you like it or not. Since you have internet, people started to discuss about product services, everything what they like, etc. So, there's something going on out there. And as you know now all that I like to cut is, uh, Here's our an example. The, uh, the business hasn't changed. What has changed is the customer and the way how customer makes buying decisions, how he interacts, how he finds the, uh, the base for making a decision. So every company has already a reputation online, uh, as I already mentioned, and consumers are actively talking to each other. And this gives a big transparency. So everyone knows everything about every product in the internet. He finds everything. And consumers, and that is the most important point, consumers trust more that what a peer tells him than that what corporate advertising tells him. It's like you're going to ask your neighbor, hey, is the new Volkswagen Gold a good car, yes or no? You trust more that statement than the statement which is made by the sales guy from the Volkswagen shop here in this one. So as a company, we have choices. We can ignore the entire discussion. We can try to broadcast into the crowd, means one-way communication out there, or you can start to engage. Engage yourself as a company or giving an engagement platform to, the, to, to your customers and future customers to discuss. So we talk about the social customer then. So some facts you can read here, what are typical for the average uh, customer. One question, who is the marketing in the room? <coughs> Excellent. Look at the right side, untrusted. 17% trust corporate advertising. So what happens with the rest? What are you doing with your money? And this is a figure for the United States. And the same figures, uh, the same uh, analyst said, European figures are even lower. So here is a big issue. We're talking about that also. From all internet users, 98% use the internet to find a buying decision. So they go there, look for information before they buy something. Let's talk about the business needs. What I hear, my colleagues here pretty often, are statements like this. We want to have a social media presence because all our other companies and our companies are doing it. So, and now what do you want to do with that? Let's do some Facebook and Twitter because I have a social media expert who told me to do so. And then once you have done it, your Twitter account and your Facebook wall, what then? What's the next step? Or they tell us we already have 100,000 fans on Facebook. 
what are you doing with these fans? They are there, waiting for something? What are you doing with those? Are you engaging with them? That's all the key questions you have to ask yourself. So first thing, if you, if you do talk about uh, business and social media engagement, this is not a, so, a me too exercise because my competitor is doing the same thing. It has to do with a very straightforward reason. It's all about business. We are engaging in social media to grow revenue, to reduce cost, or to find new ideas for new products, new services, or improve the existing ones. That's the reason. And behind, with that in mind, we have to start this journey in social media. Therefore, we ask our question, uh, these questions, or pass these questions to all our prospects and customers. Did you ask yourself these questions? What do you want to achieve with your engagement? Why do you want to achieve it? And how do you want to achieve it? Sometimes it's pretty hard to find a solution, an answer to those. So, and then the next step is once you have answers to this question is where to start. There are so many possibilities where to start. And let's go through that point a little bit. Perhaps an indication can give you this information here where to start. Brand communities are the heart of your social strategy. Why? Because in a community, 78% of the consumers have joined it because they get more information about a, a product or a, a, a company, or they like 71% uh, are more likely to buy from that company. So these are some facts. So community might be very important. You're talking about the branded community, not just the community. Now, the other question is, what is a community? Here is a picture. We call it the enterprise social ecosystem. And you see several things on there. I think my little light point is visible. Here I am. Here we see it. No, no, we see it. Uh, this is what I wanted to do. Here. This is a community consisting of forums, blogs, ideas, knowledge base that will be that basically provide uh, to you as customers, which resides in your portal. Then there are other areas social networks here where you can participate. You don't own Facebook, Twitter, etc., but you can participate. And some other areas, other forums and blogs. A key message to take out of this slide here is all about uh, search engine optimization. The most transparent thing versus a search algorithm of any kind of search engines, things, Yahoo's and Google's, is not Facebook, it's not a blog, it's not a tweet, it's not Twitter, it's, not, it's a forum. A forum with a lot of activity. This is the most transparent thing. What we want to have is being number one on a search result, not on page three, three and four, etc. page one, so that we can ensure that the landing page, when somebody clicks the link, is inside the area which is under your control, your domain, your portal, and not outside, because then you probably have already lost the prospect. That's hard fact. So to ensure success, Social is not just another channel you're going to use to communicate to the market. Because it is the customer that has changed his attitude. So it's not another way how you can talk to the customer. It, it's not like he wants to listen via Facebook what you're saying. It's another way how he's finding his decision. So this has an impact also to your own structure in your company. That you have to change a few things when you start to engage. There's a social media journey. We're still talking about the, the starting point. So we have stage one, traditional, again, to the marketeers. We see sometimes that uh, people try to use old school marketing and bring it uh, onto the internet by just using another vehicle to transport a message. I show you examples afterwards that this doesn't work. This is not the way how to do it. Then there's experimental uh, stage, operational, but what is behind it? It's that. Starting with listening might be something. Listening is not very active. It's just listening. What is your position in the market? What people uh, which are talking about you? What are they talking about you? Perhaps you have a Facebook page to see first uh, experiences. Or stage three, where you have to have your own private community. So you put the disposition, a community, for the interaction between your prospects, customers, and yourself or you're connecting it, stage four, with existing business processes. 
like e-commerce, like the support chain, etc. Or also integrated with systems in the back end like CRM, etc. Where you have fully connected, fully meshed scenario. So now key rules and experiences. Social media, the social web, is driven by influencers. Means people which say something and other people which are listening to it. And these influencers, they sometimes are called brand advocates, you hear the, word, uh, the term super users, uh, it can be uh, uh, technical experts, whatever they are, they engage, that's the, port, the point. They engage for you, your products, your services. And what you have to, to do is to give them an engagement platform so that they can work for you for free. And that's behind it. And this is not about technology, etc. It's all about know-how. These people are going to share their information, their advice, their recommendation to the rest of the world. And they do it for free. And for that, they need a platform. And this is what you have to provide. Now, the point is, if you started monitoring, for example, remember the train here, is everything fine now? No, because monitoring is not an active engagement. It's just listening what's happening out there. So it's not really a social media engagement. Or is it better to start with Facebook and Twitter? It sometimes happens. But we have to consider a few facts. You can say, OK, Facebook is huge. Let's go there. Network is great. Perhaps we have an advantage. So we go there where the fishes are. The question is, who follows you on Twitter and why? Uh, on Facebook? That's a big question. If you have somebody on Facebook on your wall, it's typically already somebody which likes you, which knows you, it's already your customer. But it's not the prospect out there you want to reach. If it's, it's an organic, let's say, fan, because there are also fake fans or fans which have no value to you. You do a contest, then people have to click on the fan page and then you have one click more. But what is the click worth for your business afterwards? That's a good question. So what are the benefits of having 100,000 fans on the page? I don't know, nothing. If you don't do anything with them, if you don't interact with them, no business benefit. But if these are real fans, it might be the source where you find your super users, your brand advocates, and whatever specialists are required, which are then the super users in your own branded community. So there's another, a very famous man, uh, Brian Solis, he just recently has posted that in his blog. Like us, follow us, why should I? What is the benefit for me to follow any brand? That's a big question. There must be something of interest for a person to follow. And as I said, not a contest, that's not the, the reason to follow. There must be something more, and a benefit, an advantage, etc. So the point is, do you know about how you, the customers are thinking about that, what they are expecting, what they get from Facebook? It's even worse. Again, marketeers, I'm addressing you. Billions of dollars are spent every year in this one-way communication in Facebook, which doesn't reach the people, because people stop to listen to you somewhere because they recognize it's spam. It's spam. Imagine you are a fan on 20 brands, and then you have the feeds every day coming from every brand. Some when you stop looking at it, some when you're going to say, I don't like it. So the business benefit is not there. And this man here, Abraham Seidman, said, that's exactly the point. You have to enable the dialogue. Facebook is something sequential. Something new comes in, something old goes out of the screen. So there is no application in there which allows an engagement where people can in, in, uh, exchange information. That's the point. And there is where we provide solutions, not only there. So, where to start? What, go, what works and what goes wrong? Not invented by me. I read it somewhere in the internet, but I think it's very good. Three sacred cows. <clears throat> if you start your own community, please manage it. If you are there present with your own brand. So it's like your business card out on the internet. But this moderation has to remain flexible. So means if the discussion goes into another direction that you meant, but still using the wording that you allowed, etc., 
don't stop it. So if you, if you start with the marketing approach and so, suddenly some questions come up like, uh, my router doesn't work and my car has this problem, I have somebody that can help me, then allow this kind of support question and answer day. Don't stop it. This is the meaning of that first point. Second point, already mentioned, monitoring is a passive activity, no engagement. Third, started on Facebook only, might be cheap at the start point, because it does not really cost something, because you have to allocate people to do it, but it is not an engagement platform, as I've seen before. And I already mentioned it, again, a hard fact. 51% of people which like a brand are not coming back to that page. And there's more details in this report, and this is a hard fact. And about a third starts to unlike it because some when they have enough messages from Twitter coming in, from Facebook coming in, and it is recognized as spam. So you have a fan, it disappears, you have invested money, but you don't have a business advantage. You don't see more revenue, you don't see that your call and the support center are going uh, are declining, nothing. That's what we all want to avoid. So, where to start? You need to have a platform, put it at the disposition of your influencers so that they can engage. That's point one. You have to find and attract these influencers by using a monitoring tool, by scanning the places that you know that some people are already talking about you, and many things more. And you have to do it in a centralized way. You cannot manage at a certain point a presence here, a presence there, some Facebook here, some Twitter there, an own brand community, and everything is a silo. What is required is to have a centralized approach where you can manage your entire uh, social media engagement from a central point. And once you have done that, then you have a good foundation to integrate with existing business processes like e-commerce, like support. Some rules here. I'm just explaining one, the first one, because it gives you an idea why the super users are so important. The 99 one rule. From 100 unique visitors in your community or on, a, on your forum, 90% are coming, looking for something, reading, and going away. They don't leave traces. 9% come from time to time and post. 1% or super users, brand advocates, technical experts, whatever, and are responsible for 40-50% of the content of your community. <laughs> so, conclusion, without super users, no success in social media engagement. Without super users, no word of mouth marketing, because then it's again the company talking to the, to the, to the prospects. Without super users and technical experts, no call avoidance, because then it's still the call agent providing an answer just using another channel. This is not what we want. So key elements to ensure the success. Again, I emphasize it, influencers are the core. These are the people we have to find, and this is the key element for success. Then, the question, why should they do that for free? This is, uh, it's all, uh, why should they do that? What is the motivation to do it? A lot has to do with the gaming dynamics. Gaming dynamics like, I want to see my name on top of a hit list. I have more followers on Twitter than my friend Patrick. Phil has more fa uh, business connections on LinkedIn than I have. This is something that everyone we, uh, of us has inside, to be number one and to show that you have a, com uh, a competence and you want to share it, this competence with the rest of the world. So a ranking reputation system is part of the solution and is very important because it's not only that, but there's a motivation for a person to do something more for free. It's also kind of an information to another person which says, oh, Phil has a high level in this ranking. He's a person to trust, he has already got uh, so many uh, points and awards from other people which are listening to him. So this is that what we understand on the rewards, reputations, and behind that are the gaming dynamics. So finding the influencers is key, success factor number one. 
to give them a platform. Here we have one of our examples of a, a tremendous story. Logitech is one of our customers. One of their super users has posted, perhaps you can see, has posted since 22nd May 2006, so I mean five years plus, 45,000 posts. You can do the math yourself how much this is per day. But we see a lot, because we have a lot of transparency of our communities, uh, we run for our customers, we see a lot of these people spending seven, eight, nine hours per day, seven uh, days a week for their preferred brand. And I think Logitech is uh, not so a sexy brand as Ducati would be, for example. So it is not about the brand or the service. Even if you say it's not a sexy item, a se sexy topic, you have to find super users everywhere. So number three, it's not only about the technology used to establish your own branded uh, community. It's also about the expertise, the know-how, how to bring a community from a day of birth to a success within a certain period of time. Forrester says 20% is technology, 80% is best practice and internal changes. Gartner says within 75% no, of all forums and communities launched die within one year. So there's a lot of negative experience there. And this is where we help our customers to avoid this negative experience. We have a complete solution, which is modular, which covers all these needs. We have proven methods to put it in place, not only from a technical point of view, but also then to take our customer by the hand and go through the start phase till we have a vibrant, very active community where you see the benefit. And for that, we need a measurement and analytics tools, which give us a deep insight to see what is happening in, the, in this community, who is talking, who is providing information, who is influencing, what is the sentiment, positive and negative of the discussion, etc. That are some key elements. So, what did our customers achieve? Cesar, I'm still in line, time? See again the picture here? So, for all these stages, wherever you are as a company, in your social media engagement, we have a solution. So, if you start with monitoring, we have a cloud monitor at this position. Uh, if you have a Facebook engagement only, we have a solution which gives you the possibility to add applications, contests, ideas, product discussions, etc., which you can manage. That's very important. Or you have a brand community. We have the technology, including the support, the seamless support of the mobile devices. We have heard it already from Tom Schuster. It is important. No way to limit the access to a community to the PC or the Mac at home or in the office. It has to be available always and everywhere. Next step, bring together social media engagement and existing business solutions you're having in place, commerce, support, innovation. And then, last step, mesh it also with your backend systems, CRM system, etc. And when all comes together, what you see here is how a community started to become alive with individual uh, communication threads. We measured that with one specific real case over nearly a year. Then you have the big benefit out of that. And this is how a community starts from zero, from a real customer we have on board, and how this community grows. And that is what we want to achieve. It works, as I said, for all industries, for all kinds of topics. There is no difference. Of course, we see uh, some industries starting earlier. Uh, a lot of our customers are in the high-tech area, hardware, software, or telecommunications. The reason is very simple. They have complex products. Complexity drives uh, questions which might raise up and drive also, of course, the, uh, the, the cost for support. And then there are other uh, customers from heavy industries over uh, travel agencies, uh, real estate, do-it-yourself markets, retail chains. So really everything, every business is a candidate. A few examples, who achieved what? 
Uh, Best Buy is an electronics retail chain in the United States, for those which don't know it. Very large company, had a very bad service reputation. They started an initiative with their engagement in social media to improve their service. They combined combined the community with uh, Twitter streams and Facebook. And what we have now is that they got last year in Cannes an award for the best campaign, that their reputation has changed, and they tell us that every year they save a lot of money because of less calls coming in, and make a lot of money more because they sell more desktops, for example, and an average of $5 million per year as a benefit. I think the ladies might know Sephora, a little, bit, a little bit better than the gentleman in this room. Um, Sephora is a very good example for the fact that an engagement in Facebook and Twitter only does not bring you business advantage. When they started with us, this was October last year in the United States, they already had a big number of real fans, 865,000 fans on Facebook and nearly 100,000 Twitter followers. But the management said, we don't see any, any money back here, any cash back. We don't see uh, more revenue. Where is the revenue? The problem was that they, have, they didn't have, at that time, an engagement platform. And they trusted us and started the community with us, which is, if you go into that community, it's an incredible discussion going on. In, meanwhile, the number of fans, organic fans, went up to 1.6 million in Facebook. And also the Twitter followers uh, have, uh, have increased, and we have integrated the entire discussion into our platform now. An excellent example how this works. And now, even more important, senior management is very happy because they said, now we can measure that as a normal customer going to the shop buys for one euro, then a person which is active in the community, identified people, they have identified the people because we can measure it, spends 2.5 euro in the same time. And the super user means the girls, typically girls, which are in there, as you can see, on average, more than 36 hours per week working for free, giving advice. They are spending 10 times more. So double benefit for Sephora. I think this is a great example how things are working. And also a very, very important scenario is that in the meantime, we have businesses which 100% rely on social. Gifgas is a company in the in United Kingdom, is a mobile operator. We started this business about one and a half year ago. A very special business. They're selling services on mobile networks, and they don't have a help desk, and they don't have a shop. Everything runs over Facebook and our community, which are integrated. They grow 10% every month, net. In the meantime, they have over 150,000 customers, growing fast, and have 16, one six employees. Everything runs in the community. No help desk, no shops, no nothing. A very impressive example. And we see also banks starting their business, which are traditionally very conservative. They're starting their business 100% relying on social. So we see these scenarios everywhere, and I think it's uh, just a question of time. If much more businesses are relying 100% on social. Well, three minutes. I'm absolutely correct. Thank you. Okay. It works for new communities. Sometimes people are a little bit uh, scared that starting from zero might be a big challenge. It is not. Example, TomTom. I told in the Netherlands, starting in March of this year, in the first two weeks, they already had 20,000 calls avoided, directly measured, because it was a question and an answer in the community, and that was it. Means they already had, in the first two months, uh, the break even, and uh, I think they're more than happy. So, summary, when it works, the social media engagement, then you cannot beat it. Because the voice of your customers and prospects is the, or becomes the advertising. And the advertising <laughs> automatically becomes the content in your community. 
and you don't have to care about distributing the content because at the end it's again you visitor which does the distribution of the content so everything done by the community thank you very much <laughs> for those who are interested we are here for questions afterwards now it's time for the next week Okay, well, thank you very much. Bem, o potencial, mais uma vez, tá bem? O potencial está cá. Chegamos a falar de cadeia de valor, de ligação. E há aqui uma ligação quase quântica. Se tivermos alguma coisa a ganhar com isso, surge uma coisa chamada engagement. Se tivermos uma meta concreta, surge um engagement. Essa sala consegue fazer engagement. E como é que eu posso fazer, é, mostrar para vocês rapidamente isso? Eu queria para uma pessoa que levantasse a mão e quisesse ganhar alguma coisa. Pode ser? Poxa, foi rápido. É só você. Só um. Ninguém quer ganhar nada. Ninguém está disposto a ganhar nada. Digamos que você. Está aqui mais um. Ótimo. Você pode vir aqui. Coisa rápida, não dá nada. Vem cá. Não, está bom aí, mas aqui é melhor. Vem cá. Bem. Temos essa moça bonita que vai acompanhar o senhor. Pode ficar aí. Vou pedir para você que se retire da sala. Foi que eu quis ganhar alguma coisa logo a princípio, portanto tem que sair da sala. Ela já o traz de volta, está bem? Olha, leve o senhor para tomar um, comer um bolinho e voltar. Ir e voltar apenas à sala. Obrigado. Já vai bem acompanhado. Pronto. Esse acho que não volta. Ah, vamos ver. Falei prêmio, ela foi. Bem. Continuemos. Quem aqui agora está disposto a dar alguma coisa? De 5% a 10% no serviço, num desconto, num produto, numa demo, possibilitar uma conexão e ajudar essa pessoa a ir, essa pessoa que está disposta lá fora a ganhar alguma coisa. Alguém quer dar algo, uma vantagem? Dá o quê? Quer que estaria disposto a dar 5% de alguma coisa? Meu tempo. Hã? Meu tempo. Um? Meu tempo. O seu tempo. Tem um custo hora, obviamente. Depende do seu custo hora. Quanto é que tem o custo hora? 1.500, 2.000? Senhor? Mais de 5.000. Mais okay. Dá uma hora, duas horas a essa pessoa. Ok. Todos nós sabemos agora que o foco, a meta, o prêmio, está onde? Está ali. Todos de acordo? Conseguem visualizar onde ele está? Então, pode levantar a mão? Eu vou ser o prêmio. Ok? <risos> Levanta a mão. Para todos reconhecerem, pronto, estão a ver onde é que é o prêmio. Eu vou pedir agora que estavam de volta aquele senhor. E é. Hã? Não vou dar uma hora toda a Não, não, não. Eu peço apenas que dê esse prêmio e essa vantagem competitiva de ter vindo cá hoje, de fazer essa conexão com quem saiu. Você está disposto? Tá? Ótimo. Estamos todos de acordo então com isso, certo? Eu vou pedir para fazer entrar a pessoa, esse é o jogo mais velho do mundo. É o quente e frio. A pessoa que procura vantagem vai precisar de quê? do nosso engagement, para ela chegar. Certo ou errado? Ok. Quanto mais longe estiver, vai -as. À medida que se aproxima, aplauso, sim, força, está quase. Quando chegar lá, festa na sala. A subir. <risos> D'accord? Pronto. Pode vir até aqui, por favor? Mas primeiro não posso ir para o café. Não, foi muito rápido. Se estivesse no timing certo, vamos lá. Não, pode vir até aqui. Conseguiu ouvir... O que tivemos aqui a tratar não? Não, não Nem o café, não, mas terá um café VIP a seguir a isso. Mas também poderá conquistar hoje uma vantagem. Essas pessoas que cá estão, tem uma pessoa que está disposta a dar tempo dela para si. Portanto, o serviço, ou seja, a consultoria, uma conversa profissional para você para o projeto que tiver. Está disposto a ter isso? Só que para lá chegar, você vai ter que andar aqui e descobrir onde essa pessoa está. Agree? This is, we have an engagement here for you to catch the opportunity to, to, to gain, okay, for an offer of 5% or 10% of service, okay, but you have to find the offer, and we, in this room, we will help you to do that. Okay. Are you with us? Yeah. Let's go. Walk. 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 A sala vai tentar ajudar. Engagement. Oh, 
by God. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ok. Se isso não é só chá o CRM, podem fuzilar o brasileiro. <risos> Engagement é isso. Não é só a questão da missão, meta concreta para lá chegar, mas essa quântica, essa energia que faz com que assuntos relacionados, conexões, deem um propósito e que todos entendam as regras, o caminho para lá chegar. Então, vale a pena participar ou não? Cool. Falamos no final, então, da minha parte. Vá, agora quem é a seguinte?